12 seconds, just 120 feet. But that short flight changed the destiny of mankind. Few people know that behind the Wright Flyer, the first airplane, lies a story of secrets, risks, and strange details that textbooks never tell. Orville and Wilbur Wright weren't scientists. They had no government funding. They were bicycle mechanics from Ohio, tinkering with books and watching birds. While big names of the era, like Samuel Langley, director of the Smithsonian, received tens of thousands of dollars and failed spectacularly, the Wright brothers succeeded with a budget of barely 1,000. Why choose Kitty Hawk, a desolate stretch of sand whipped by winds and far from the public eye? Simple, strong winds, wide beaches, and almost no witnesses. They didn't want to fail in front of a crowd, and they wanted to guard their secrets. On December 17, yes, 1903, there were no reporters, no cheering crowds. Only one friend, John Daniels, a local lifeguard, pressed the shutter on a camera. That single photo by chance became the most important image in aviation history. The right flyer was incredibly hard to control. The pilot had to lie flat, one hand on the throttle, shifting hips to warp the wings. A single mistake, and the machine could nosedive into the sand. In fact, on the very first day, the flyer was damaged after just a few attempts. If it hadn't been quickly repaired, the dream might have ended right there. Orville Wright is remembered as the first to fly, but many records suggest that Wilbur, his older brother, made the longer, more successful flight later that same day. The brothers never fought over credit, but the question, who was truly first to conquer the skies, still sparks debate today. Even after their success, the Wright Flyer wasn't celebrated right away. Many scientists doubted it, and the American press mostly ignored it. It wasn't until years later, when the Wright brothers demonstrated their aircraft in Europe, that the world finally believed the dream of flight was real. The Smithsonian, still tied to Langley's failed attempt, even tried to downplay the Wright's achievement, fueling a bitter rivalry that lasted for decades. The original Wright flyer was damaged after an exhibition, disappeared for years, then restored and placed in the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. Standing before it today, you don't just see wood and fabric, you see a story of secrecy, persistence, and the sheer will to leave the ground. 12 short seconds opened the age of aviation. The Wright Flyer wasn't only the first airplane. It was a reminder that history isn't always written by giants, but sometimes by two bicycle mechanics who dared to dream the impossible. And it makes you wonder, how many great inventions are still hidden from us today? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more untold secrets of the sky.